We know that our hair care routine is only one piece to the puzzle to achieving healthy hair and a healthy scalp. But one thing that we don't pay enough attention to, or maybe it just went over our heads, is that by incorporating healthy food, vitamins, minerals, and herbs, it can really be the difference between a healthy hair grow and why your hair won't grow at all. And today, I'm gonna show you how. What's up beauties, it's your girl Bellamicia and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all things food, which is like my ultimate favorite topic, believe it or not. I know you would think hair, but girl, food is, food hits me right here. <laughs> like food is big. But it's specifically related to healthy hair growth and scalp. Now I would be lying if I said that what I put into my hair was the only thing that contributed to my hair growth. It's also what I put in my body from the inside. What we eat literally creates the building blocks of who we are. Period. Our diet has an enormous impact on the health of our whole entire body. From our internal organs, to our nails, to our hair, to our skin, literally you are what you eat. So a balanced diet is key to healthy hair growth. So here are the foods that I eat personally that help give my hair and my scalp a healthy boost. So starting off with number one, essential fatty acids, also known as EFAs. Now I've already touched on this in my six oils that has helped my hair grow fast video. So if you guys have not seen that video yet, I'll be sure to link it in the description box down below. With that being said, essential fatty acids are crucial for a healthy hair growth and healthy scalp. Not only does it bring moisture to the hair and scalp from the inside, it helps to support a healthy oil production and lubricate the hair shaft to promote growth. Now the best sources which are my personal favorites come from fatty fish such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines. You can also get it from raw nuts and seeds such as chia seeds, walnuts, black seeds. The best ways that I eat seeds or nuts are like in the morning with my oatmeal or if I make a smoothie I just add them in there. That's probably the easiest way to consume them. Alright so coming in at number two is protein. Now we all know that protein is the building blocks of our hair therefore lack of it can can lead to deficiencies in just weak and brittle hair. So since a lot of you have been complaining that adding protein to your hair has been a little bit too strong, especially my low porosity girls out there, why not try consuming it? And no, I'm not talking about eating the protein treatment, I'm talking about eating food that actually contains a high level of protein. The best sources include bone broth, legumes, eggs, lean organic meats, my personal favorites are oats, lentils, Greek yogurt, tuna, quinoa, almonds, Brussels sprouts, Ezekiel bread, like literally the list goes on and on. There's like so many options for protein, but the ones that I just listed are the ones that I eat regularly in my diet. Coming in at number three is whole grains. Whole grains are rich in zinc, iron, vitamin B, and biotin. And we all know the big role that biotin plays when it comes to hair growth, or just like healthy nails, um, skin. I know a lot of girls take the biotin supplement. Personally, I choose to get my biotin from food sources. And some of my favorites are eggs, sweet potato, cauliflower, almonds, mushrooms, and spinach. Oh my god, all of that together just sounds like a party in my mouth. Other biotin rich foods that I found that you can eat from eating whole grains are amaranth, oats, buckwheat, brown rice, millet, and my personal favorite, quinoa. I actually have a video showing you guys how to make amaranth porridge um, as a new breakfast idea if you're tired of like, you know, the regular oatmeal or like, you know, cereal, whatever you eat for breakfast. I created this whole video showing you a very tasty way to just try something new for your breakfast. So if you guys are interested in seeing that and getting your biotin levels up, I'll be sure to link it in the description box down below. Did you know that low levels of iron are related to low red blood cell counts, which can result in hair loss? You didn't? Me either, girl. I found this out after I did tons and tons of research and I was like, bruh, y'all need to know this. Low iron is associated with a 
lack of oxygen and nutrients being transported to the hair follicles, which inhibits the growth and strength of your own hair. That's crazy, right? So the iron sources that I consume on a daily are dark leafy vegetables like kale, chard, arugula, collard greens are a really good one, and my personal favorite, beets and spinach. You know how like in Popeye, that show, he's always eating his spinach and he gets all nice and strong? <laughs> I also take this baby right here, which is Mega Food Blood Builder, which is a healthy way to like achieve iron if you're like anemic. This is a great iron source if you're not interested in eating your dark leafy green. So coming in at number five is vitamin A. This vitamin is required for the growth of cells and the production of sebum on the scalp, which keeps hair healthy and not too dry. Carrots, cod liver oil, sweet potatoes, eggs, Spinach, leafy greens, pumpkin are a couple of my favorite sources. When it comes to cod liver oil or fish oil tablets, like I'll take a tablespoon um, once a day or I'll just consume like the pills. All right, coming in at number six is going to be vitamin C. Vitamin C is required for the absorption of iron in the body. It also helps with collagen production and just strengthening the overall immune system. My favorite sources of vitamin C are red peppers, kiwi, broccoli, papaya, citrus fruits, like lemon, lime, and oranges. All right, so coming in at number seven is vitamin E. Vitamin E helps to maintain a good pH in oil production, as well as improve blood circulation, all of which promotes growth while preventing follicles from becoming clogged and damaged. The best sources include my personal favorite, avocado, extra virgin olive oil, raw nuts and seeds like walnuts, sunflower seeds. So you know how like we massage our scalp to get the blood flow circulating to kind of stimulate growth so vitamin me what so vitamin E is basically like giving your hair a scalp massage all right so last but not least is zinc this vitamin is essential for skin health and supports the skin on our scalp. Zinc also prevents excess shedding of hair, so if your hair sheds a lot, you might want to increase your zinc levels. And zinc can be found in oysters, <coughs> um, pumpkin seeds, chickpeas, spinach, cashews, and my new found love, dark chocolate. All right, beauty, so that covers all the food that I consume on a regular basis to help with my massive hair growth. Hopefully you guys are able to find one, two, maybe even three foods today that you can incorporate into your lifestyle. You know, you don't have to do all of this at once, but you know, you should probably slowly start to incorporate one or two every day and just see which ones you like. I think my biggest takeaway is that I want you guys to know that I incorporate these foods into my everyday lifestyle so I'm not just eating it like once every few months or like you know once in a while like I'm literally consuming these foods on a daily basis and honestly it has really made a difference not only in my you know my hair but like my skin my body the way that I feel so just start off small and just pace yourself but overall I just wanted to share my favorite food sources with you guys that I feel like have contributed to my massive hair growth and having a healthy scalp if you found this helpful and like videos like this one be sure to smash that like button and I will continue with this hair growth series and with that being said I will see you guys in my next video bye